Okay, this is going to be something a little different. This is um, a new Konami game that's free to play. Oh. It's this free Bomberman game. I played a little bit of it, and I enjoy Bomberman. And I enjoyed this enough to want to do a small segment on it. I have um, a couple issues, but you know what? It's like a Bomberman Battle Royale. I didn't play the Pac-Man one, which I may eventually. Whoa. Get that volume down a little bit. So yeah, Konami released a game. Um, you got a reward. A sus, a su. Oh. God. Well, essentially, what I've learned about this game is, um. That. Well. <laughs> wait until you see the character select. So you, you, you have got your Bombermans. Of course. And then you get. Simon Belmont? Yep, this is what Konami is doing with its characters these days. Pyramid Head Bomber. Raiden Bomber. My hog. This just makes me sad. Really. I mean, more than anything, seeing Alucard here in Bomberman, but nowhere else. I mean, the show had him, sure, but goddamn. Vic Viper. Bill from Contra. Lance from Contra. Naked Snake. Sorry, this is what you're relegated to now, Snake. Now, this may piss some people off. Richter. Oh, excuse me, Old Snake. Wow. <clears throat> Where's Solid Snake? Then there's, um, <laughs> some, a Silent Hill nurse. Princess Tomato. Okay. Mimi. Yami. I don't know who these are. Um, maybe, like, I don't know. Um, Parodius? I, 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 Robbie the Rabbit. And then, is this what I think it is? It can't be. Can it? Well, there you go. So, yeah, that's what Konami has relegated their most famous characters to, a free Bomberman game. Now, that said, I, I like Bomberman. And one thing I will say that's cool about this is that there are special abilities for all these characters. Aside from the regular ones, who can usually get the most upgrades. So, you can see what you start with and what you can get upgraded per character. So, imagine my surprise when I went to the green bomber and... It was just awful, but um, I'm going to stick with regular bomber because this is the most balanced. You can pretty much get anything. You can upgrade to maximum. I'll try some of the other ones. Um, you can customize some stuff. So this is how they get you. This is how you get your, your Konami bucks. You know. So that you can um, get addicted to uh, customizing stuff like your bomb. So that's, that's a thing. Um, entry pose, there's uh, accessories. You can get a cardboard box. I don't know. It's weird, it's not showing up, but uh, whatever. You can uh, get a number of horrendous outfits. As you can see, this game is taking full advantage of the Switch's power. Uh, that's my one of my two main complaints about this. You'll see in a moment. So, complaint number one... ...is how long it takes to find a damn match. So, how long, uh, how long you've got? Oh, very good! Very nice. But yeah, it takes a little while to find a match. Okay, so here's... here's a, that's a good. We got a match, right? Here's how long it takes from there. Now, this is a game where, you know, you die quickly. 
you have to restart matches quickly. So I want you to be aware of how long it takes to get into a battle. And that was fast, by the way. Maybe I'm just complaining for the sake of it, but... Yeah. Okay. My first Bomberman was Bomberman 64, by the way, which I still think is a pretty good game from what I remember. But... The original Bomberman style is very addictive and fun, and is my favorite style of Bomberman. And that's what this is, truthfully, with some additions, like the Power Glove. Maybe that was in some other Bomberman. I haven't followed the series. So this is Battle 64. There's 64 players, and you can move around from arena to arena. And you want to be the last bomber standing. And I actually got top four at one point, I think. Or top, like, maybe it was fifth or fourth. So, I'm not good at it, but I, I can try to hold my own. Uh, so, it's still loading. It's, that was quick. That was actually quick. Kurt is alive 22? What the fuck? Oh, it's probably just some regular dude named Kurt. Never mind. Alright. My other complaint is the resolution of the game, which this looks a little bit better than handheld, I think. how lucky I'm getting with power-ups, which is to say, none lucky. Zero lucky. Oof. Okay, now I can punch. God. Now I can kick, too. You get two lives, by the way. Kick is very useful. Oh my god! Alright, that was one life. Um, so, then you can go from arena to arena. So, like, here's one now with a bunch of people. I think this is cool. This is a cool way to do a battle royale for Bomberman. I'm gonna stay here. Nice. Oh. Oh, I needed that. That was an extra life. I don't know what this water thing is. Oh, God. Oh, God. Come on. Is that what that is? Well, there you go. Match over. <laughs> and then you level up and get rewards and shit. The usual for every game, you know, it's fine. I get what they're doing. It's just, it's cynical because it's Konami especially. And because they don't make other games aside from Pachinko. I still, I can't believe that joke is still relevant. I wish it wasn't. It, joke, I say. It, it's, it's not even a joke. But it is, um, it's Bomberman, so I, I... You know, I like it. I like it from its just bomber basics. Summoning Salt uh, released a video about how Mario Brothers, over the years, has become more and more perfect perfected, like the speed run. I, I highly recommend it. It's called Super Mario Brothers: The Human Limit, and it's um, it's quite good. Fine, I'll be Snake. Oh my God! They actually have David Hater. They got a clip, that old crusty clip.
now we load. I was looking for more video game news that I could talk about during these loading times. Um, I can't really... I can't really think of anything. Um, I already talked about Switch Pro rumors. Maybe this game will have good resolution on the Switch Pro. The Super Switch Tendo. Flight Simulator patch lowers the base game's initial full download size to uh, 83 gigs. Basically cut the um, gigs in half. That's interesting. Also, someone... Uh, someone used a million crabs. Or three million crabs in Unreal Engine 5. And it didn't slow down. Far Cry 6 launches in October, which I don't really know how much I care about that, but it is news. Uh, I liked Far Cry a little bit here and there. I saw the gameplay of the new one, and it just looks like visual diarrhea. <laughs> no, it looked, it looked fine. It looked the, the same as usual. And there's also a sequel to, um, speaking of Castlevania, there's a sequel to Bloodstained Ritual of the Night in the works. Which I really like the first one, and I hope that the second one improves upon that formula even more. Seems better than the jungle. Seems better than the jungle. Did they actually get Hater to do? Huh. Oh, that's how the abilities work. I haven't used Snake yet, so I don't, I don't know. It's the first I've seen. That you can just press the bu B button and you become stealth. There's only one dude in this area. Oh, there's a lot of dudes here. Yeah, let's do this one. <laughs> oh my god, what have I- I- wrong button! Man, if they got Hater for this, I hope they paid him well. I guess it's just me on here. Oh, no, no, there's one more. Gotta be very careful not to continue pressing the wrong button every time. Oh, God, that was an extra life. It just got destroyed. That was an empty arena, which is why it was like, nope, can't be there, sorry. Wow, I'm a dumbass. <laughs> that was a dumbass move. And now, the waiting begins.
I have no other video game news. Um, uh, new Bioshock, maybe using new Unreal Engine. Those crusty guns. They couldn't, like, that looks like an N64 gun model. Not that this game needs to be, like, the most amazing looking game on the planet, but still. I'm on fire. Try red. I have no uh, comments about Bioshock at the moment, though. As much as I would like to say about Bioshock, uh, I don't really remember a lot of it. Aside from... I don't know, um... I liked it. Infinite was a little disappointing, but the setting was cool. And I hope if they do a new Bioshock, it will be... I hope it will be an interesting setting. I wouldn't mind going back and forth between the sky and the sea, if it was done right. Because both settings were great. But I think Bioshock worked best in the sea. It should have been called Skyoshock or Aeroshock. Bioshock Infinite. Man, they had such an opportunity. But that Unreal Engine looks pretty dope. So red can't be very fast and cannot punch. But starts with good, um... With good, uh, sploge. Like, big sploge. I hate get uh, having items be destroyed. I think I've just reached my max speed as red. Oh! God damn it! I got greedy for all those items that dropped. I think you just die if you're at the level closing. Oh man, that extra life though. Wouldn't mind that. What did I- how did I die? What got me? Did I walk into the end of an explosion? I think I did. Oh well. Like the first time I played this, I got top eight. I think it was because I just didn't know what I was doing and I just hid. Also, there's a lot of uh, fun cursed Resident Evil 8 mods happening right now. Like, people putting the baby's face on Chris's body. And you can imagine the rest. It just keeps getting more and more interesting. Players have been found. Far Cry 6 gameplay reveal. I'm just looking at this video right now. Wait, is Giancarlo Esposito in this game? The dude in the thumbnail that looked a lot like him. Oh, uh, I'll try yellow. Because the gameplay saw trailer I saw was a leaked, and it was like some Russian dude, like 
playing it. You get to ride a horse. Um, looks like Giancarlo. Uh, you get to ride a horse, you shoot, there's war, there's a shark. Uh, it, it's, it's a video game. There's a jungle. I will watch this trailer later. The actual trailer with people speaking of what it is, because I can understand them now. A fucking solid snake, or sorry, naked snake model. Is there a Bomberman thing in Smash? Maybe like an assist trophy? God, Yellow's face. Da! What's that hand upgrade? I don't know what that is. I've never seen anyone play Alucard, or maybe I have, but I just didn't hear the voice. But I'm wondering, like, who voices Alucard in this game. Hey, it's me, Alucard! How you doing? Hi! Dracula dad, dude! Oh. I never claimed to be good at Bomberman. I need to figure out what that hand upgrade is. Well, this is not good. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Destroy 100 blocks. Oh boy, don't I feel special. Again, it just takes so goddamn long to get back into a match when you can end a match in a 60 second, 30 second sometime. So E3's coming up. And I will not be covering it live. And I am not sure even if I was streaming that I'd cover it live because there's a lot of a lot of fears in regard to DMCA. I'll be the bean, whatever. So DMCA aside and also just you know, cool E3 moments aside. I'm going to be streaming it, uh, not streaming it, recording it, sorry, recording it. And then, you know, we can put together like a little video, maybe each day, I don't know, I'm not sure, I might not be home for every day. But at the very least, I will be watching and discussing a lot of the E3 stuff. Some of it I will be recording live, some of it I'll be watching afterwards if I'm, you know, busy that day. But I would like to check it out, I mean, I, I appreciate that people have, over the years, cared enough about what I had to say about E3, even if it was just dumb jokes. And I put jokes in quotation marks, but... I want to talk about the games. I want to see what's being revealed, and I want to have my reactions recorded. So I'm gonna try to do that. It just won't be live. I am one of the fall guys. I'm a fall gentleman, let's do it. Uh, 
Okay. Okay. Punch. I won't slip up again. The name of the game here is just survival. I'm try to stay alive as long as possible and, and not like try to be aggressive until last sixteen, I guess. Oh you reached that far, you bastard. Oh, I just got an extra life. You see what this bastard's doing? Yeah! I'm okay. Myself killed. Ah! <sighs> Houndst, do I keep doing this? Oh, man. Try again. <sighs> Do I wish to be Bean again? I don't wish to be Bean anymore. Characters become frozen in fear. Leave it to me. Try this bomber. I do like that the characters have different abilities, different stats. It's a good way to spice the game up a little bit. If you hold the button, you can lift the bomb at your feet. At least the button to throw. So that's the, the glove. I was trying to do that. Almost reminds me of Splatoon music a little bit. Oh, apparently Bomberman is coming to the Fall Guys on June. In June. And on June. I was positive that Amagus would have been in here before Fall Guys.
It's fine. Take your time. I'm just gonna go to Video Land. Welcome to Video Land. Does my character Naruto run? It does. Oh god, it Naruto runs. Uh, now I'm even faster. Imagine spending real money for bomber bucks. Okay, I only have one bomb. I guess it's random when which level closes. Not sure. It, it's again, it's a pretty cool idea. I think it works well for the Battle Royale. Everything has to be battle. All classic games must become Battle Royale eventually. I'm still here. I still have both my lives left. My bombs suck shit. Yeah. Well, if it isn't the worst voice I've ever heard. Aside from some of the ones that I do. life. I don't think there's items in these particular blocks. There's some in these blocks, though. Okay, here we go. 21 players left. It's more speed. like multiple bomb placement upgrade. Oh, where'd that bomb come from? Rank 5. 
I guess that's cool. I got head banging. Good. Kick performance. The clown. I'm I'm really happy with these unlocks. What's that? You want to unlock uh, Solid Snake or rather Alucard or Richter? No, no. You kick performance. The clown. <laughs> oh dear. Did Call of Duty make all this customization commonplace? Was it Call of Duty? I wonder. Where you have like, um, weed banners and, you know, every possible thing that you could unlock. It's really interesting because a lot of this stuff... I mean, I I like unlocks. I like seeing things get unlocked, but it's ultimately not that big of a deal for me. I'll do my best. I haven't really spent too much time on customization. I guess there's a couple games I would. Like, Monster Hunter is more my speed for customization. But aside from how the character looks, all the rest is pretty arbitrary. Like, okay, so you have game with customizable look, which I like. But then you also have function. So if you unlock new weaponry, that's great. New armor, etc. But I guess that's the stuff that's less important. Like, there are games where I choose, like, <laughs> like in Monster Hunter, sometimes I'll choose the nicer looking outfit. I don't know. But then weapons, you have to make sure you get, like, something that's not just, um... It looks good and it's like shit. It's like the meat staff. You don't want the meat staff, because it looks good, but it's not that good. All the same pose. Well, one good thing about Bomberman Online 64R, or whatever the hell this thing is called, is you can play another game on another system while you play this. Like, if you're playing an MMO, you can take a quick break from your MMO to play this game, and then play the MMO during the downtime, which... Maybe someone can do the math. If you could measure how much downtime there is... ...versus how much I've played, I'm gonna bet... It's like 55% non-gameplay to 45% gameplay. It, are there, do we have any scientists in the audience? If so, this is your project. I will not get used to Snake's voice in this game. Kind of like that Naruto running from the other character. I'm just gonna chill in here. Uh, I'm gonna do something really stupid. I'm gonna hang out in the middle. 
Look at- look at this one dude running faster than God. Excuse me, what does God need with a starship? I'm still here. Dear Lord. Yeah, get all the stuff. Yes. No, no! God, you gotta be careful not to walk into the bomb. Where am I? Oh, I thought I was the other dude. I wasn't that other dude. I think you can only hold two lives at a time, so you can't, like, stockpile lives like I thought you could originally. Kind of wish you could. Could use an extra life right now. So I have kick. I have kick. And I got tight kick. Whose bombs can do that? Jeez. Oh my god. Extra life acquired. Brimba, brimba. I won't slip up again. Yes. Oh, so good. Green can only shoot- oh! What? Why did I do that? Green can only place one bomb at a time, by the way. That's the curse of green. Green has, uh, very severe limitations. Oh my god. This is insane. Got the extra life. life really bad gotta be careful with those bombs I don't like those those bombs this the, the ones that bounce I don't like bouncy bomb no I don't I'd rather get a spike bomb but now I know you have to choose one or the other jeez Got me. I didn't even see. I wasn't even. <sighs> Damn. I really don't even know how I died. Like I wasn't. I saw like the, the maybe the tail end of an explosion. Was it my own? Gonna have to slow that footage down. There's only two arenas left. I'm gonna watch this to the end. One arena remains. 
I've never actually watched the full round of this, so I want to see how this ends up. <laughs> oh, those bouncy bombs are fucking insidious. It just becomes, like, kind of a clusterfuck, truthfully. I'm gonna say now that there's been more gameplay than not. Because of this round. This round has led to much gameplay. Green still can't, like, upgrade. Green is still the same speed. Green starts out with an advantage, but ends up, I think, with a huge disadvantage. Oof. I've never seen the spikes drop. Oh my god. Green is so lucky. So lucky! Oh shit. Yeah, Konami really went all out with these visuals, man. The problem with some of these characters, original Bomberman can, like, get... with minus a special ability, can pretty much get anything. Can get every upgrade. And then some of the other characters have a limit on what they can get. Let's see. Green, I really don't think green is a good choice, like... But yet that green survived. Look at that. That's... I mean, green can't lose those three abilities, though. Green can always do those things, but just really bad speed and it's kind of crap overall. All right, let's go. But if you were good with those abilities, I guess green is the one for you. waiting. We'll get there. Gotta keep myself occupied somehow. Okay. So that was the best I had done... ...probably ever, that previous one. A lot of it is luck. I mean, that's... Bomberman is skill plus luck. A lot of enduring multiplayer games have that component. But, in this game... ...if someone dies near you... ...congratulations! the hand still. It's weird. I really don't know how to use it. Like, I don't know if what button. I'm pressing different buttons and none of them are working. That 
that sets me at a pretty big disadvantage, not knowing how to use the hand. Oh look, it's a green. I do fear green early on though. Wow, that was sick. You see what I'm saying, though? I don't- I really wish I knew how to use that hand. find an uh, extra life. Kick is a good ability. I know how to use that one. That's easy. <laughs> nice. Many levels closing. Oh god. Oh god. This one's gonna be packed. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, I got my extra life back. Chaos. Yep. Yeah. Someone had the, um, fucking piercing spiky bombs. Calm down. It's not over yet! The remnants of Metal Gear. Free-to-play Bomberman game unlockable text phrase. It's only another 15 minutes before I get into this next match, but I'll probably just stick with no special abilities, regular Bomberman. White. With headbanging.
All right, Bomberman, it's time. Number one battle royale, victory royale, chicken dinner time. dinner <laughs> like in real life <laughs> synchronized blue Amazing. Crusty Konami netcode. Very good. I'll protect everybody. Oh, I should have learned how to use this. That's a cool thing about punching you can do. You can punch something from one side to the other. is that okay it's one of these it's clusterfuck time I think I just <laughs> I got him Figure out how to use the hands finally. Oh, that's Alucard, I think. Got a cardboard box on him, though. Good. I thought I figured out how to use the hands. life back. <laughs> Dumbass! Oh! I'm getting very lucky with these one-ups, though. Fuck. The only thing I don't have maxed out right now is speed.
Come on. Need a one up. I won't slip up again. There. Got it. Wait for you. There. It's over. Nice. Top eight. Wow. Vinny wins by doing absolutely nothing. Sick. <laughs> Best two. I think I just picked up the bouncy shit. I don't want the bouncy shit. What have I done? Oh, <laughs> hey. Hi. Oh, I didn't even see that. Oh, dumbass Vinny. Top four, more like top two. Come on. All right. Well, that was that was good. I just couldn't just couldn't keep it together at the end. So yeah, I like this. Uh, I like it. Not a lot, but I, I like it enough. I think it's pretty cool. Silent Hill background music. This is what is left of Silent Hill as well. Alright, well that's Bomberman game that I don't even know the name of. Bomberman R Online, I guess it's called. Yes. It's fine. It's okay. It's it's kind of fun to play. I just wish there wasn't as much downtime. Um, but it, it gets a little chaotic, but that, I guess that's the point. So, not bad. And I hope you enjoyed watching this semi-review in some ways. It's me just talking about it, truthfully. Uh, it's free.
you never have to spend any money on it. You could just throw it on, check it out, see if you like it. But I thought it was alright for free. I'll never get to play as Alucard, but that's okay. It's not really Alucard anyway. I don't know who that is. That's Alucard. It's, um, Bat Dude. I don't know who he is, but he's not real Alucard. So, that's super bomb 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 bom